Good morning. Uh, this is First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 5 and 6, and then also verse 8. <clears throat> and it says, For you are all children of the light and of the day. We don't belong to darkness and night. So, be on your guard, not asleep like the others. Stay alert and be clear-headed. <clears throat> but let us who live in the light be clear-headed, protected by the armor of faith and love, and wearing as our helmet the confidence of our salvation. You know, there's at least one very interesting thing about the light. No matter how strong the glow, uh, it could be a candle, a flashlight, the screen of an iPhone, a car headlight, um, no matter what. Whatever the type of light is, it will always dispel the darkness. It's never the other way around. Darkness cannot dispel the light. Never. Ever. You see, one light can shine and Wherever that one light shines, it will always make the darkness go away. It's one of the properties of light. No matter how deep and how oppressive the darkness is, light always wins. It will always overcome the darkness. In fact, the deeper the darkness, the easier it is for an individual source of light to shine through it. And this passage says, we are children of the light. In Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 and 16, in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said, you, I, we are the light of the world. So, let your light shine. You know, in our world, it seems as if there's some very dark things that are happening. We see some events that are taking place that we aren't exactly comfortable with. But the deeper the darkness, the easier it is for one light to make a difference. You're the light of the world. So am I. We've got to shine. It's your responsibility. It's mine. Pray with me. God, remind us that we are children of light, your light, your word, that we reflect you as you shine in and through our hearts. I pray, Lord, that you would help us to also shine in this dark world. And I pray, God, that as we do, we would bring glory and honor to you, pointing people to you. Thank you, God, for shining the light of Christ in our hearts. And we give you praise for that this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, let your light shine. It's pretty dark out there.